Today we're gonna to cook up a great feed of squid or caramari. We're gonna do it right in the garage in the cast iron frying pan over the wood stove. No better way to cook than over a wood stove. So let's go. This is the first time I've used oyster mushrooms and they're perfect for any fish recipe that actually enhances the flavors. And I'm really excited about using this type of mushroom for the first time. And we just have some regular mushroom. You can, you can choose any other mushroom you want, but if you have the option of getting oyster mushrooms, I highly suggest it. We're also gonna cut up some Spanish onion. We're gonna keep it in rings. And now we're cutting up the squid. This is incredible. I love fried squid, but I prefer baked squid over anything, and that's stuffed with just a regular dressing. That's it, let's get cleaned up. Kinda wanna saute our onion, get it soft. We're gonna add our mushrooms towards the end. I think we're gonna cook our squid first, then our mushrooms last. Or maybe we'll do the onion and mushrooms, then remove it, maybe do our squid. That way, uh, we might do that. We'll see. You can really tell there's heat because the, the onion is starting to break apart. You know how it is. So we're gonna fry this up very nicely. Look, beautiful Spanish onion. I love Spanish onion. Lots of heat. It takes a while for the cast iron to get to the temperature that we need it, but once it does, oh, the heat stays constant. That's the best thing about cast iron over a wood stove or even propane, because it keeps that heat. It doesn't drop like a um, electric oven with the burners on top. You're always going up and down with the heat. It gets so hot, cuts out, drops down, cuts back in. You don't get that consistent heat, and for doing eggs, telling you that's why restaurant eggs always taste better because they're done on the flat grill and I'm telling you it is true because that heat stays in the stainless steel even a stainless steel frying pan is, is really good but uh, when you're dealing with cast iron that heat stays in there and it gives more of a consistent cooking and believe it or not it tastes better because we always say, oh, when you're cooking outdoors, cooking outside always tastes better because we're usually using either an open fire outside, propane, or even over a wood stove. The heat is different. It's constant heat. It's consistent. It's not dropping out. It's staying the same. I'm always the one that does too much to one time. I wonder where I get it from. Father. We're gonna just dump it in there. Now look at this. Look how much this is wilted down. Yeah. I think this is what we're looking for. Maybe a little bit more. mother. Yeah. You have salt and pepper out here? Yeah. Where? In the cabinet. Cabinet. Over with pots and pans too. Okay. Okay. I got it. Garlic powder. Yeah. Everything there. Okay. It's going to add a little bit of garlic powder. Some black pepper. A little bit of salt in it, the flavor. I'm gonna stir everything together. Get it all in the oil, evenly distributed. More oil, avocado oil. There we go. That heat it up. 
Here we go with the squid, caramari. We call it squid. We're not that sophisticated. We call it what it is, squid. There we go. We don't want to overcook it. This is not something that we want to darken. We don't want a dark brown on it. If you do, it's going to be like chewing on cardboard. You just want to lightly cook it. The best way to cook squid is slow cooking it. If you're frying it in a frying pan like this or baking it in the oven, slow cook is always better. You don't want to make your, you don't want to dry out your squid too quick. Like I said, it's going to be like cardboard. Trust me. A lot of people that say they don't like squid is because they never had it cooked properly. Mother have never overcooked her squid. She have never had a meal of squid that wasn't delicious, wasn't cooked perfectly. If you're going to bake it in the oven stuffed, you want to slow cook it, make sure you keep putting oil over the top of the squid so it doesn't, doesn't burn, doesn't dry out. Slow cook, that's the key. You can see now it's changing. It's not as uh, slimy or not as uh, squishy. The texture is changing. She's getting hot, getting very hot there now. Even just standing here, my legs are legs are burning. So like I said, we are almost there. Very hot, very hot. Just the heat alone is very hot. See how much smaller it's gotten. The rings shrunken up, drying out inside. Take up our squid. Finish it off. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Wow. That oyster mushroom is very nice squid. Very nice. Very nice taste. Spanish onion. Absolutely delicious. I love cooking Nufi food. And this is something that, well, has gone back many, many years. I know years ago, certain parts of Newfoundland would not eat squid. They considered it to be a dirty fish, and they wouldn't eat it. It's only in recent years that I think all of Newfoundland has been eating squid and certainly enjoys a good meal of fried squid. we got a lot of more videos coming up. Uh, Newfoundland grub, Newfoundland food, and a lot of outdoor videos. We're going to be building an outdoor kitchen within the next few weeks. So uh, the start of that is going to be pretty amazing. And we could do a lot of our cooking outside during the summer. So if you enjoyed this video, please stay with us because we got a lot of great videos coming up this summer. A lot of outdoor videos, a lot of fishing, a lot of eating, a lot of cook-ups. And we're going to see you in our next video.